Greetings to you, my friends, and welcome to Let's Talk Kingdom. The Holy Spirit uh, placed upon my heart to begin sharing wisdom nuggets and divine truth and insight concerning the kingdom of God. Many people who attend church have yet to understand and comprehend what the kingdom is about. There's so many churchgoers who have placed a higher value on the traditions of men as opposed to the kingdom of God. One of the things that must change in the body of Christ is we must get the message that Jesus preached, get it in our hearts and preach it out of our mouths. Many to this day don't understand the message that Jesus preached. The word of God says that Jesus, while he was on earth, he preached the gospel of the kingdom of God. What is the gospel? Fancy word for good news. So Jesus went about preaching. His message was the good news concerning the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Paul said righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? Jesus said in Matthew chapter 12, if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then has the kingdom of God come unto you. So what is the kingdom of God about in practicality? The kingdom of God is about living a demon-free life on earth. In other words, the kingdom of God is about having life, living life as God the Father purposed it. Let me share with you the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. In Matthew chapter 6, beginning at verse 9, Jesus says, After this manner, Therefore pray ye, our Father, who art in heaven, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In other words, Father, you've reconciled us to yourself through Jesus Christ. His shed blood on Calvary. So we're talking about relationships. So Jesus says, look here. You have a relationship with the Father. See, I came with a specific assignment to reconcile, reconcile you back unto God the Father so you can have relationship with the creator of the universe, God the Father, Abba. So Jesus says, our Father who art in heaven. Now, let me share this with you quickly. God, his initial plan was to colonize earth with the culture of heaven. So Jesus teaches the disciples to, when you pray, say, our father who art in heaven, the one who wants to bring heaven to earth. He said, holy, you have to understand that holy is the Lord. You have to understand that the Father is holy. Hallowed be thy name. Then the next thing blew me away. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it exists, as it is in heaven. So my friends, God wanted to colonize earth with the culture of heaven. So whatever's going on in heaven, God wanted you to experience it on earth before you die and go to heaven. So he says, your kingdom come, Father. Your will be done on earth as it exists in heaven. My friends, there's no sickness in heaven. There's no uh, people out of their mind in heaven. You understand? There's wealth in heaven. There's peace in heaven. There's joy in heaven. There's 24-7 worship in heaven. There's love in heaven. People get along in heaven. You understand? 
You understand what I'm saying? So, so God wants his children, his creation, his prized creation called man to experience heaven's culture on earth. My friends, think about this. Many of you who have gone to church and you leave church confused because you're reading what the word says about life and how we should have it more abundantly. And you don't see that in a lot of churches that you frequent. God wants us to operate in kingdom, power, authority, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and everything that goes along with heaven's culture. My time is up for today, but meditate on this reality. When Jesus said, pray in this manner, our Father, you're in heaven, but you want heaven's culture to come to earth. So, Father, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it exists in heaven. Once again, in Matthew chapter 12, Jesus said, if I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then has the kingdom of God come. So what is the kingdom of God in practicality? Living a demon free life on earth, living life as God purpose without demonic headaches, without uh, thing in, uh, engaging in things that will destroy you as opposed to build you up. So you can represent God in the earth. That's all it is. So my friends begin to seek the kingdom of God. God wants heaven's culture to invade the premises of your life on earth. Think about it. Until next time, stay in God's face because his grace is sufficient for you to accomplish everything that he purposed for you. I'll see you next time for the next Let's Talk Kingdom. God bless you.